No, my windshield's a little dirty. It's still a little dark. Going on 7 a.m. here in Tri-Cities, Kingsport, Tennessee. And just what's been on my mind the last day and a half. Just this this whole financial situation that we're we're all in to some degree or other. Um, and I guess just trying to trying to time things out, trying to, you know, think, like, how much time really do we have? Like, I, I really, truly believe that if no cataclysm happens, if God doesn't decide that time is up, if, you know, no, like, uh, widespread war breaks out then it will be a financial collapse and it's what we're hyper inflating ourselves into right now um i say ourselves it's really not it's not like us peons have the blame the elitist oligarchs are pushing us into hyperinflation um the way we are getting this hyperinflation and this is what you know people and uh, I myself made videos about a couple of years ago um, when they really flipped that switch I guess it's more than a couple of years ago now seems kind of crazy sometimes how the time has absolutely just flown by when, when we say it's the quickening it's the quickening in really all aspects I guess I don't know if you would agree or not, but it just seems like, you know, ever since early 2020, when everything came about, um, things are just speeding up so, so much, and so now the hyperinflation is speeding up as well. Um, you know, we've, we've talked time and time again about, you know, when a a government, a rogue government led by a private entity, that being the Federal Reserve, that being the large money controllers who have always been around ever since the formation of our country, those few families who rule the world decide that an experiment is over, they will end it. They'll try every way possible, and that's what's happening with the hyperinflation. They are ending the great experiment, and we are the great experiment. And they are, they're done with the dollar. They're done with it now, and they're just trying to end it. And the way they are trying to end it is to print it, and I did that in air quotes because... There's nothing back in our currency whatsoever. At this point, it is ones and zeros. And if you don't know what that is, that's binary language. That's code language for computer programming. Ones and zeros. And that's all your dollar is. And they can do ones and zeros to affinity. And the fact of the matter is, a couple years ago, when I said you're going to be paying $10 for a loaf of bread, well, it's... It's pretty much coming to fruition now. Even here in East Tennessee, it's happening. Um, people cannot afford a place to live. People cannot afford groceries. People are living off credit cards to afford their groceries, to afford their housing. Um, a lot of people don't even have any medical at this point. Um, they're probably better off without it, in my opinion. But they are hyperinflating us into a collapse. And if nothing else happens in the meantime, in my opinion, this is going to be one of the ugliest forms of degrading into the collapse. Because these, all the crime rate, Everything that's skyrocketing right now, it all basically ties back into the big picture of the hyperinflation. I mean, a lot of it has to do with uh, 
you know, people losing morals, uh, kids being raised by TV screen, not even TV screens, but by computer screens and by screens in general and um, technology instead of being raised by parents, Lord knows, not two parents in a home, but it just, this this is where we're at and it's been my biggest kind of dread all along is just this rolling like you know where our society as a whole we're like a great big tumbleweed with all kinds of baggage sticking out of us and we're just rolling down this road you know we're just steamrolling we're kind of turning into like a a steam engine in our tumbleweed and we're rolling and we're picking up steam and the more dollars they print the less value you get you know one day your loaf of bread is going to cost just for a generic loaf you know 350 the next week it's going to be five dollars the next week it'll be 750 the next week it'll be ten dollars and by that time you're all grain um your you know, high-end loaves of bread are going to be 15 and $20. It's hyperinflation. That is what's happening to us. They are printing our collapse. If we don't get out of their system, we will fall in their system. Uh, that being said, some major decisions are going to have to be made by a lot of us. Uh, and it's it's hard it's hard but you know we got to live to fight another day and so sometimes we have to make really hard decisions in order to sustain ourselves so uh, major wheel spinning mind cranking time period that we're dealing with here as we watch ourselves deflate um, you know, if you haven't already heard the analogy, of the or I can't think of the word the, about gold and the value of gold, you know, in 19, 1929, right before the depression, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll share it with you again just in case you haven't heard it or just in case you forgot. In 1929, just before the uh, depression, um, you could buy, you could take a, a one gold piece, one ounce of gold, or a $20 bill, and you could buy a entire an entire men's suit. Uh, you know, three-piece suit, you know, tie, everything included. Nowadays, you know, you with one ounce of gold, if you just went to a regular department store, you could buy, who knows, numerous men's suits with one ounce of gold. Um, you know, seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars, two grand. You could buy several suits. You could buy enough suits for, uh, you know, several guys. But with a twenty-dollar bill, you you're lucky to buy a tie. You're lucky to buy a belt or. A pack of socks, maybe like two, maybe two, maybe two pair of dress socks for twenty bucks. So that tells you the value of your dollar bill. And yes, our entire lives have been a lie. All of us who are around my age, fifty-one, Lord willing, fifty-two, come January, my entire life has been a lie. Our country was taken off the gold standard. Right before, or no, right after I was born, and everything's been a lie since, and everything was a lie before. Um, a lot of religion is a lie, a lot of how our country was founded is a lie, a lot of the civil war causes is a lie, a lot of the medical industry is a lie, a lot of the educational system is a lie. I mean, you're what? How do you how do you just live? Just go on and just have a normal day to day life when you know that everything you ever knew in your whole existence 
until the day came that you started finding out the truth was a lie. It's really hard to just function as an everyday citizen when you know the truth and man it's it's getting it's getting really really hard it's getting a lot harder to do um there's days when i'm just absolutely ready to completely uh, throw away all my technology head out there in those hills and don't come back again i gotta stay grounded for my mom I definitely have to stay grounded for her as it is in the time being. <sighs> but man, it's tough. <clears throat> it's really, really tough. So, um, do what you can to figure out how to get as self-sustaining away from their system as you possibly can. And when I say for you to do that, I'm talking to myself probably more so than anyone else honestly but I just wanted to share with you my thoughts on the de devaluing of your dollar when it's collapsing all around you on purpose by design to lead to that one world currency uh, I hope everyone can have a happy and blessed day I know the video I put out last night I said that was the end of my content for a few days well, I guess I had something on my mind this morning. So this may or may not be the last one I put out for the next few days. Uh, if it is, then uh, there probably won't be another one until uh, Monday. Late Sunday night, Monday morning, something like that. But anyways, for now, have a blessed day. Much love. And uh, don't worry about trying to hold on to that dollar because it has no value whatsoever. Peace out.